Hi everybody, it's Tina. I just wanted to personally thank each and every one of you for watching your horoscope here on my channel and wish you all a very happy new year. I would also like to thank Keen who is sponsoring this month's horoscope videos. If you have not tried Keen yet, uh, you can receive a 10 minute psychic reading for just $1.99 in any area of your life. As you guys know, I also offer personal readings and the link for those will be in the description bar down below. However, my wait list can be very, very long. If you're looking for instantaneous answers to your questions for just $1.99 for your first 10 minute reading, uh, do check out Keen at the link down below. Um, I personally have used Keen at times where maybe it's the middle of the night and I need somebody to answer me very quickly or I just want to find some guidance uh, on some area of my life that's been pressing for me and I haven't had time to reach out to any of the wonderful psychics or readers here on YouTube. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll get you back to your horoscope right now. Hey Taurus, it's Tina from Twinkle Star Tarot and I am here to do your, your January 2021 general and or love forecast. We'll see what the cards have to say. Before we get started, a huge thank you to everybody who has visited and supported my Etsy shop. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Um, just so you know, the free sample this month is Blockbuster Oil, and this one is an oil that's going to help you uh, break through any blockages in your life at all. So money, love, whatever you're working on or manifesting this year, this one can help you uh, do that a little bit more easily. So if you'd like a free sample, you can um, any product order in the Etsy shop will get a free sample this month, and that's no minimum purchase. Um, so link for that will be down below. Okay, let's get into this. Let me put some incense on, and we will get started. Hope you guys had a lovely holiday season as, as good as it can be with, you know, considering the circumstances. <clears throat> okay. Spirit guides, universe, guardian, angels, and ancestors. This reading is for the zodiac sign of Taurus, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please allow me to be a peer channel for their messages. Thank you. Okay. All right, so Taurus, if you're new to my channel and you don't know how I do my horoscopes, it's gonna be a nine card spread. So I'm gonna do three cards for your recent past, Three for your present and three for your near future. I also pull an oracle deck from the Moonology Oracle card from the Moonology deck uh, to round out your month and see, you know, get you some guidance for the month coming up as well. Okay, so. Recent past for Taurus, first card out, we have Temperance, could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Let's see, let's see what else. We get the Five of Swords and the Four of Wands, okay. Present energy for Taurus. The Nine of Wands reversed. The Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, and the Eight of Swords reversed. And the near future for Taurus, please. The King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Seven of Pentacles reversed and the Page of Swords, more air energy. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Pentacles. Um, this can be holding on to something or someone, okay? This can also be saving money. Um, like pretty much, you know, take it as like keeping things close to your chest. If that makes sense, you could be keeping a secret as well. Um, so let's take a look at your reading and see what comes up. All right, so... Like I said, Taurus, in the recent past, you have Temperance and then the Five of Swords and the Four of Wands. Temperance, like I said, is Sagittarius. It can also be um, healing and divine guidance. Temperance is usually like a guardian angel type energy. Um, also, her cup runneth over. She's very abundant. So that could be the energy that you're pulling on as well. Five of Swords is drama. Um, usually it's like petty drama to me. I don't look at that as like a serious altercation or a serious fight with anybody. I look at it as more like somebody did something or said something really immature and stupid and irrational. And that's kind of what the Five of Swords energy is. It's petty stuff that's just very annoying. Um, and then you've got the Four of Wands, which can be um, your home, uh, your neighborhood, your it could be your marriage as well. And um, it can be a family unit too. So this could be, you know, you're dealing with someone in your family. Maybe you got into some sort of drama or, or argument with, with a family member um, and you're working on healing from that. Oh, temperance also means patience. So let's just see, let's clarify and see what we get. The two of wands, the eight of wands, travel heavily indicated, and the three of pe uh, pentacles. Okay, so if it's not travel, um, this could be drama with someone at work, all right? But you're, you're moving past it, you're working on moving past it. Maybe you're leaving um, your job to go to a new job and that's why you're saving money. 
um, could also be starting your own company. You could get news messages or communication about that soon too, especially if you're waiting to hear about a job offer to, opportunity or offer. It does look like you'll be getting news about that very, very soon. Okay, so present energy is the Nine of Wands reverse, the Queen of Cups, and the Eight of Swords reverse. It's almost like, again, I kind of feel the sense like you're healing still from this like dramatic situation is what it looks like to me that happened. Um, you could also be kind of working on getting yourself free from a situation where you previously felt trapped because both the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Swords can indicate a feeling that you're trapped or stuck in something. Let's see. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Again, if you're waiting for money or a job offer to come through, there it is. Okay, it's coming. That's what it looks like to me. Um, the Sun, Leo energy. Okay, so that could be um, Leo. It can also be children. It can also be joy, happiness, contentment, like really, really happy celebratory energy. And then let's see. Yeah, for some of you, this is about work. You're, you're waiting for a new job so that you can leave your old one or a job to come in, period, so that you have money coming in. And then judgment is good karma, right? It's also meaning that your judgment is, is really clear about the situation and that it's not, you know, clouded or skewed in any way. What you see and what you perceive is actually accurate here. Um, yeah, so that's, I mean, that's good energy here. It looks like, you know, wh whatever you've been waiting on is going to manifest for you. For a small few of you, if it relates to love, it could possibly be a love affair with someone at work. It could also be a third party situation or a love triangle too. Um, you know, you could be waiting for commitment from someone as well. And that looks like it will be coming through. And some somebody could also be waiting for commitment from you. Um, and so that also looks like you may be committing to this person too. Okay, so the King of Swords, again, that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, could also be a lawyer or a judge. Uh, it could also be, he's the King of Communication. So you've got good news kind of written all over this reading. Um, Page of Wands reversed and the Six of Swords. Um, somebody could have tried to like rain on your parade with the Page of Wands reversed. It almost felt like if you got a, a promotion at work or you know you did something great at work and got accolades for it, one of your coworkers is like, oh, well, they didn't actually do that right. They, uh, or they took my work or they're trying to like, well, it wasn't that great anyway. You know, they're trying to make it sound like, you know, your, your hard work is not valued or appreciated because they're jealous. That's what that is. Um, but the six of swords, you know, that's coming out of five of swords energy. You will be moving past whatever drama this is, you know, towards the end of the month. Seven of pentacles reversed for Taurus. Queen of Swords reversed. Okay, someone could have some harsh or cutting words for you. Also, um, it could be a, li a Libra or a Gemini or Aquarius, but you got some harsh or cutting words for you. Um, and I feel like they're telling you like you didn't do something right. This reading's a little bit all over the place, Taurus, and I apologize, but it's it's almost like, like there's two people making a decision here. One person's like, Taurus did great, and we're gonna give Taurus a promotion, or, you know, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, get engaged to marry Taurus, right? And then one parent is, or one family member is like, yay, that's great, congratulations. And then the other one is like, well, I don't like them. You know, something like that. It's like somebody has to bring like negativity into the circumstances no matter what. And they just have to find something to be negative about, you know, but you're still gonna go through with it. It doesn't matter what they say, but it's just annoying, you know? Um, Page of Swords. Ace of Cups reversed, Ten of Pentacles reversed, wow. Okay, so for some of you, um, you know, the news is like, I'm getting out of this marriage or this family situation that I'm really unhappy in, um, or I'm getting out of this job that I'm underpaid and I don't love, you know, something like that. Um, somebody, again, you're, you're spreading the news, you're hearing the news, it's good news to you, but to someone around you, they're very jealous and just bleh about it, okay? All right, so let's, Pull a card from the Moonology deck. Here's that. All right, one ended up on the floor. What it is, and it is the confidence is your key to success. And it's the new moon in Leo card. Um, I always tell everybody in personal readings to Google the new moon in Leo, find the date put it on your calendar, and then the week before and the week after, and of course the day of, may be significant to you. So let's look and see what we got. Okay. It says, this card heralds the start of a new cycle for you. 
when you're going to look and feel more gorgeous, more in the spotlight, and more like you have something worth showing off. If you want someone's attention, this card says it's coming. However, this may not happen all by itself. You have to be willing to do your bit. That means being proud of who you are and what you have to offer. Think of yourself as the king or queen of the jungle and carry yourself accordingly. This card is also a great omen if you're asking about a creative project you're working on. Alternatively, it can herald good news or a new start for your children. Um, a change of the moon is make time to have fun. Additional meanings for this card are it's, got, it's time for you to show the world what you've got, shine your light, have some pride, spoil yourself, you've earned it, and you've turned someone's head. So that's what I've got for you, my, my Taurus friends. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. It was an honor and a pleasure. If you need a personal reading, um, I do offer those and they will be uh, in my Etsy shop. The link for that will be down below. Also, don't forget to try out Keen for $1.99 for your first 10 minute reading. Um, and thank you guys so much. Have a beautiful month of January and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.